So what did you just ask me, little buddy? Um, if you have a YouTube channel. I do have a YouTube channel. Hey yo, what's a poppin'? Pop, pop. Team No Space, we're back with another video, and of course, my name is Brad, and today is the first day that I am waking up in Sydney, Australia. I have never been here before. I landed last night, well, yesterday afternoon, checked in, chilled, and today I decided to start the vlog. I was in Port Douglas last time you saw, before that it was um, Gold Coast. I flew from Cairns and Brisbane, and now I'm in Sydney. Super complicated, but we're here, and we're here for like five days, and today we are going to check out the Queen Victoria building and Manly Beach and I'm going to show you guys what this place looks like this Grand Sydney Hotel where I'm staying. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. So that was my room right there just walking down the hall. I'll show you guys where I had breakfast this morning. It was right here. There's this like little cafe room. Ooh, I look like a ghost. This little cafe room, it's really cute. Just like has breakfast materials and ooh, who's that handsome guy? And bread and there's a fridge and there's just coffee and this window looks amazing. Like, hold up, I need to take a selfie right here, right now. I couldn't help myself, that spot just looks so cool. Okay, back on to our way to Queen BB, the uh, Queen Victoria building, because I am starting to run behind. By the way, this whole hotel is super cool. Like you just go down these floors and then inside is like on every level there's a different bar. I just got here yesterday so I haven't been to one yet. Actually, I was in the bottom one. I'll show you guys what that one looks like. It sounds like it's open actually. Yeah, on the ground floor now. So this is what that bar looks like. Super cool. So I can just come down here at any time I want and just grab a beer but Right now we have to go out to this way, which is uh, St. George, and uh, start walking towards the Queen BB because I gotta be there in 10 minutes. Halfway there, it's just a 10 minute walk, uh, so pretty close. By the way, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a backpacker because I'm in that hotel room with a suitcase, but like, come on, let's go. It's also really interesting to know that everyone walks on the other side of the, uh, sidewalk here left hand side the whole time I found the building now the only question is how do I get in it it's mainly been converted to shops but I'm trying to get on that tour though just straight up designer store after designer store after designer store what kind of mall is this so that looks kind of cool I'm just straight up looking for the concierge wherever that is well, I'm just straight up looking for the concierge, wherever that is. All I know is that they made this building in like, I don't know, 100 years ago or something because they were in a recession to make jobs. Well now there's just fancy designer stores everywhere so they definitely make money. Walking around this place like a maniac but at least it's beautiful. Woo! I couldn't find the concierge so I decided just to check out this view and I was thinking of going up there and climbing down so then I started looking and I was like, Oh shit, there's the concierge. Is that your receipt? Thank you. Hi, Toronto. Oh, I can't be there. I can't be there. Now, nothing in this building, except for a few things that I will point out, is original. So there was a lot of damage done in the 1930s, but the building's 118 years old. It took five years to build. 1898. Yeah. Okay, so wow. 118 years old. Okay. Most of you buy wow. the it goes down. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, I just noticed that. And That's the cool. engineers that uh, back, back in the day just followed the lay of the land. Being Mother's Day tomorrow, we've got a lot of people in here. We start here. We start with Queen Victoria's statue. Why we have this statue? I did not expect to be on that tour all by myself, so it was really difficult to film with just me and Robin. Uh, but she did give me some really good advice to go check out lunch, so I'm heading down to the Darling Harbor, uh, something down the aquarium, and uh, then I'm gonna make my way to Manly Beach, just like I mentioned to you guys earlier. 
So let's keep the day going and bring back up the excitement after the tour. So let's go. So I think I found what I'm looking. <clears throat> so I think I found what I'm looking for. That lady told me to head towards the aquarium, so I did. So this is the aquarium, and then I found the Manly Fast Ferry. So I think we're gonna jump on that bad boy. So I'm almost there, just a little bit more to go. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Just getting directions from people and people and people. Okay, approaching wharf three now. I still have no idea what I'm doing once I'm here though. Oh, it looks like I can buy a ticket. Manly. Finally, I feel like I have some success going my way right now to get on this ferry. So excited. I may not have gotten on at the best docking station. We are right here. Go here, get on a different one and go all the way up there. Literally at the farthest one. To the farthest one. It's going to be a lot of boating. Ooh, I think it's coming in right now though. That's the ferry. Opera House is representing the, the sales of the sea, because check this out. Wow, there's a lot of people on here getting off the ferry now. Gonna go check out Manly Beach for the first time. This is so exciting, I can't believe I'm doing this. Look at this candy shop, this is so cool. I'm definitely gonna get some candy for the house. Thank you. I am such a child. I didn't get much though, I promise. Not too much. There we go. There's that focus. This is so much more than I expected. Not gonna lie, I was just expecting a small little beach. This is actually a really, really cool, busy area. I should have given myself more time here, like a whole day, because with sunset coming around, I'm gonna have to be out of here in like an hour maybe. Hopefully you guys could see that. I thought that was Manly Beach, but then I'm looking at this sign right here and it says Manly Beach is 500 meters that way. So now my expectations are up in the air because I have no idea what I'm expecting. This is way above my expectations. There are shops all the way down here, all the way down here. There's street performers, there's this guy singing. Oh my God, this is so cool. And of course, no doubt, I love me my ah, Starbucks, there we go. I really want to save this experience. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Woo! Woohoo! It's chilly. Whoa, look at all the surfers. They're everywhere. Oh, wow. Doesn't look like the surfers are doing so hot today. All right, I'm gonna go grab lunch. So what'd you just ask me, little buddy? Um, if you have a YouTube channel. I do have a YouTube channel. You can find me on YouTube. My username is Brad Will, and there's no space. Yeah. Awesome. We're uh, Team No Space, so you wanna yeah, join? Yeah. All right, buddy, hit me up. Team No Space, good job, thanks. Thanks, see ya. <laughs> see you later. I have to say, compared to the city back home, there aren't as many places to like pick for food, but I think Toronto is just really well known for having like a wide variety of food. But I was making a friend back when I was scuba diving, he called him London because he was obviously from London. And he said every night after the bar, because they, they don't eat poutine, he'd come back and he'd eat a kebab. So, figured I'd try a kebab. <laughs>
That guy is honestly amazing. The best entertainment I could have asked for having my lunch on Manly Beach. Like, pause the video, find out that guy's name, and go subscribe to him because he's amazing. Back on the ferry now. Honestly, Manly Beach was so much fun. If you are in Sydney and you're looking for things to do, I found that Manly Beach had a lot more stuff to do than um, like the Sydney Harbor or the Darling Harbor. Uh, so if you guys come here, be sure to check it out. Like that was so cool. All the street performers, the food. Uh, if you're here at a good time, the surfers, that would be really cool. And just everything else that I missed that I couldn't do on my own. But yeah, be sure to check it out. Slot bus. Just got off the ferry, guys. Um, heading back home so I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here honestly that was a fantastic day I'm so happy with everything that we did uh, this was also vlog number 50 so if you guys have been here from the start thank you so much for watching and I hope that you continue to watch if you guys are new uh, then welcome to team no space I hope that you guys are enjoying it here and uh, I'm just basically gonna go relax for the rest of the night so as always guys take it easy peace Driving real good, it's the best way I've always drunk.